18th of February 2017. This is an educational video to teach the students how to diagnose with the urinary bladder stones in a dog. Now, in many cases in prior practice, some owners just can't afford to pay for the overall treatment of bladder stones. So, the way to cut costs is, of course, uh, x-rays. Because x-rays is one cause of this blood test, urine test. Ideally, this should be done. But uh, sometimes the owner has no, no money. So, one way to cut costs is the x-ray. Now, x-rays, x-rays, uh, you can actually palpate the bladder. I'll get the better this way then, I'll get the better. And uh, now, in, 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 uh, in palpation, if we do many times, we can actually feel the stones. Now there's a sound, if there's sound, it's called crepitus. Crepitus means that there are stones rubbing against each other. And this crepitus, you will be able to tell that uh, there are many small stones, or big stones, depending on, the, on, the, on what you palpate now. Four fingers on this side and thumb on the other side. Okay, dog facing to the left of you. Okay, now four fingers here. Now we can see the dog stands up. And now I'm going to palpate this dog with leather stones. Now I feel it. Okay, now I can feel it. It's as big as uh, bigger than two golf balls. Okay, there's definitely one. Now there's one there. Now, if I feel, feel around the whole length and the, the breadth of it, there, there's apparently one, one very big one, twice the size of the, the golf ball. Now, whether there are two or not, that's the thing. So I feel, up, I feel up and down. Now I can hear a capital, a clicking sound. So there will be another one. But this one will be a small one. So 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 that in this bladder there are two stones. Two stones I can feel. The smaller one is about uh, uh, let me see. I can I can feel that it's about maybe three centimeter times two centimeter. And it's is uh, rubbing against the bigger one. The bigger one is definitely the, twice the size of a golf ball which means it's very big. Golf ball is easy to explain. It's, I think it should be about, um, what's the diameter of the golf ball? It's probably about 8, eight centimeter. 8 centimeter times 8 centimeter. So after the surgeon will operate and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll confirm it uh, that there are two stones at least. Now there may be smaller stones, but the main thing is, the reason I'm doing palpation to find out is, is that uh, let the publication save the owner some money. Although I wouldn't recommend it because the best is of course x-rays. And uh, the x-ray has actually been done on this case. And the x-ray did show one stone in one view and, and looks at two stones on the other view. So, but this capital sound, this sound, stone rubbing against each other, I can feel it. So, so that is the, the test. Huh? Of course, you've got to do a lot. You have to do a lot of bladder palpation over the years. And actually, you can come to more or less knowing that the stones are one or two or many small ones by feeling the sound, the click, 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 clicking sound, the rubbing sound. It's called crepitus in medical terms. Crepitus, okay. Now, let's go to the blood test results. Now, blood test results are important to check whether the dog is fit for surgery or not. Now you can see this blood test result. This blood test result first here. No wait, let's, let's do here first. Come. So the blood test results is actually for pre-op. Now let's see, this is the this is the one first, right? This is the one. Now you can see generally liver is okay. Kidney is, is okay. This is a high urea because of the dog being sick. Now the creatinine is okay, so there is no kidney disease. Creatinine is more or less low, 89 to 171. Now the main thing is this dog has, I call it the bacteremia because leukocytosis. 
white cell count high, then you have the neutrophilia and low platelets. Okay, finish. Yeah, so since, since last operation after that. Uh, what was the last operation? Two years ago. On what? So the stone also, stone problem. Also removed stone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So done, done by you. Uh. He's scanning. Oh, I can't remember, it's quite long already. <laughs> then you didn't change diet? Uh. You didn't change to... No. Maybe have to do that. Huh? Maybe have to do that. No, you, you, you didn't change to the stone yeah. prevention diet. Yeah. Then, this time what happened? Just can, cannot control urine. Got blood or? No blood. Appetite loss? Appetite loss? Appetite was okay until the last couple of days. Vomiting? No vomiting. No vomiting, eh? Just, just only urine cannot control. Yeah, control, yeah. Drink, uh, pass a lot. Huh? Drink a lot of water. Yeah, drink a lot of water. Pass a lot. Pass a lot. Drink a lot of water. Keep on drinking water. Yes. But still very active. Uh. How is she now? Oh, Chua. Chua, uh, yeah. Wow. What what food you feed? What's the name of the food? The dry food, is it? Okay. Oh, we uh, home cooked food. Uh. Home cooked food, eh? Home cooked food, sometimes was snack. Uh. How about dry food? Don't feed. Sometimes a little bit. Uh. Little. Snack, uh, that, uh. She, doesn't, she doesn't drink much water. Drink a lot of water. Before that? She drink a lot of water, always drink water. Uh. No, before that? Before the stone? Or after the operation? Yeah, drink. No, after the operation? Also drink, uh. drink a lot of water. Yeah. Shouldn't have stone uh, unless you feed dry dog food. Do you feed dry dog food or not? Yeah, dry, dry. Huh? You feed uh. yeah, That's the cause. Uh. Uh, normally. Okay. Okay, the, the, so so the dog definitely has bacteria and even septicemia in this in the sense that the platelet is low. So now we look at the urine test. Urine test definitely shows that uh, it's alkaline pH, so I suspect it's drew by stones. Alkaline pH. And uh, you have high protein, it's chronic cystitis due to irritation of bladder. And then there's blood there. And uh, there is uh, white cell. White cells are high in, in this uh, urine specimen. Although there's no bacteria, doesn't make, doesn't, doesn't uh, mean that no bacteria, there would be bacterial infection. Maybe the owner is medicated using its own antibiotics. Now you can see that uh, crystals, huh? crystals, nil, no crystals on urine test. Now this is a typical case where, whereby many young vets or new inexperienced vets think that no crystals on urine test means no stones, but this, this is the example to show you that even though there's no crystals on urine test, no urinary crystals, it doesn't mean there are no stones, as this case definitely has has a lot of, has large bladder stones. Uh, and uh, from what I feel, there's probably a small one here, a smaller one here. So after the after we do operation, we were able to tell, tell uh, whether my palpation is correct or not. Although the x-ray did show, there seems to be another one. But of course, it's not, uh, from what I say, you don't really need x-ray to know, you see. Because this is a really a big stone, twice the size of a golf ball, and one about a cheap, small one at the, at the base. Now, you look at the urine here, there. This is a urine, urine uh, with blood, turbid. And so, the dog got to be stabilized, IV, and then the operation will be done today. Okay, thanks. Two years ago, the owner came for bladder stone removal and uh, the stone remover similar in size to this big bladder stones and then he didn't want analysis of the stones and he continued feeding the dry dog food so now of course two years later the schnauzer is prone, prone to bladder stones as well. so bladder stones we cut so today the dog is being prep for surgery, so the best is we do the IV trip first and uh, I start with tetracycline and then uh, give the trial IV to eliminate any bacteria first 
before surgery in the afternoon and uh, this is part of stabilization of the patient with leukocytosis and neutrophilia before the operation. Of course, it's better to wait till the dog has fully recovered, but the owner does not want to wait. Yeah. Since the dog is always having a urinary incontinence, some dogs owners do wait. So we'll see how the operation goes today. But to stabilize the dog first, there's no dehydration. No dehydration actually. Yeah. So the colors are okay. The tongue is pink. Because membrane is a 13 year old. 13 year old dog. So uh, female. So we have to be very careful. Yeah. It's the, the huge stone. I can't read. Yeah, I, I say it was two times the size of a golf ball. Incision done. I expect two stones, one big and one small piece. Cut at the fundus. Looks like true white. Two percent. Flat piece. Huh? Is that a big egg? Huh? Oh, so it's really two pieces. Huh? Or one piece crack. Chronic cystitis. As seen on the x rays, two pieces. Submucosa stitching. What to do?
about uh, 15 minutes after surgery, the dog is awake now. The bladder stones have been removed and uh, she should be okay. This is the second time a recurring recurrence of the bladder stones due to the feeding of the dry dog food. Commercial dry dog food. My abdominal palpation, I could feel crepitus in the lower part of the stone and you can see after surgery you can see that this stone actually had a crack it was like this you see so when we take out there were two pieces and uh, you can see from the x-ray there were two pieces this is the surface of this uh, stone in the schnauzer and uh, and uh, inside the bladder, it will be like this. It will be like this. Yeah. It will be like this. And uh, so when you feel it, you can feel the click, click sound. Eh? The crepitus. You palpate the bladder. So the vet must have much experience in pal palpating bladders. And they can feel, although you can't see, but you can feel that the stone uh, is actually of two pieces as in this case it's about one hour after surgery the dog is still drowsy and we are giving another bottle of IV drip this time is Hartman's solution it will drip overnight and the owner went out wanting to bring the dog home so it's rather silly of the owner Wanting to bring the dog home immediately after major surgery, especially when this dog had been not very well before surgery, had, having an infection as well. So I advise the owner to wait till tomorrow to bring the dog home and let her rest here to recover. Let's see what's the weight of the stones. I put it here. And uh, from, from what I can see, it's 67 grams. It weighs 67 grams. This is from the schnauzer. And uh, you can see the dimensions. Dimensions approximately. One, two. One, two, three. Four, four point five centimeters at least. Around four point five times. Three. 3 centimeters times about 2.5 centimeters. So that's how big it is. Today is uh, Sunday, 19th of Feb 2017. You can see the bladder stone schnauzer is uh, quite alert now awake and I pee some urine which is not uh, bloody there's some urine here not bloody so the bladder is okay and so you can see the stones now compared, compared to a paws you can see the stones are really bigger than the paws I was 60 over, over 60 grams now you can see the lower part the stitches are still there this is a female, female schnauzer, female schnauzer, and uh, she has a position in such, in such a way that I can see the bandage surgical area. You can see there's uh, no pain because of painkillers. And overall, she's quite alert <coughs> and she'll be able to go home. You can see the, the, the bladder stone. The bladder stone is really like, like a slice of egg. It's as big as a hen's egg, actually. And, uh, See, 
you can see the bladder stone in relation to the top. It's quite a big one. It's sliced off. As if it sliced off inside the bladder. It is a very strange thing because as if there's a divine force splitting it in, in, into two pieces. That's why I could feel the crepitus in the bladder. And it's such a nice sharp cut as if it's been a hard boiled egg being cut. So it's about uh, 18 hours after surgery. The dog will be going home today and uh, should be recovering. Most likely a strobite stone. So you send for chemical analysis.